the number one thing the federal government can do is balance their budget because what you're seeing across the country right now is states falling apart because states are in partnership with someone that has no fiscal responsibility. You know, the state of Missouri, for example, has a balanced budget, which means we have to, we only can spend the money we have coming in, and it has to be balanced at the end of the year. The federal government can print and borrow and, and come up with their part of the money that, that the state simply cannot. Right now, our state budget is $23 billion, but $16 billion of that is federal revenue dollars. Only $7 billion of it is state general revenue dollars. And what you're seeing is states all across the country coming up cash to pay for their part, but the federal government deficit spending. And you're seeing that, that, that gap between the states continue to grow because of the irresponsibility spending, irresponsible spending of the federal government. Oh, absolutely, because, you know, I know what it, how the tough choices that have to be made. In 05, when we reduced the state budget, that was the worst year of my life, but it was a job that we had to do. You know, people were opposed to it. You know, people said that we would lose the majority in the Missouri Senate, and we actually gained seats after we passed the legislation. You know, and we made the tough choices in 05 to balance a budget. Now, to go out and bail out states like California, that continue to deficit spend and don't take the necessary steps to balance the budget, I'm totally opposed to that. And, and another thing it does is it continues to dig the hole deeper. In the Ozarks, we have a saying, if you want to dig, stop digging yourself into a hole, the first step is to stop digging. So the first way of getting the states back to good balanced budgets is to stop bailing them out every time they're in trouble. And, and who's going to bail out the United States when we can't pay our debts? You know, that's the, that's the scary thing about this, is the, the direction we keep continue to go is we're going to reach the point of no return before long, and we're not going to be able to pay our debts, and then we're all going to suffer together.